present perfect and past tense i have cooked dinner for everyone we ate dinner at your place last week also you should not have taken so much trouble it was a pleasure cooking for everyone i enjoyed it you visited our house almost a year back you must all come for dinner next sunday i have accepted your invitation now please have dinner i have laid the table thanks in the dialogues anuja and rajiv have used verbs expressing actions just completed and actions that took place at a specific time in the past here are some examples of sentences with verbs in present perfect tense and past tense present perfect tense i have cooked dinner for everyone i have accepted your invitation I have laid the table. Past tense. We ate dinner at your place last week also. It was a pleasure cooking for everyone. I enjoyed it. You visited our house almost a year back. Definition. Present perfect tense is used for an action just completed, an action that began at some time in the past. and has continued till the present moment and about past events with no specific time information in simple past tense the verb tells us about an action that was completed in the past simple past tense is used mostly when information of time is given when time is not indicated then it is implicit or made clear by the context past habits are also expressed by using this tense let us look at a few sentences roma has written 20 pages of her novel till now i have read this book many times the students have completed their work and are going for lunch now aditi helped me with my homework yesterday prithviraj chauhan loved samyukta In the first sentence has written is present perfect tense as it speaks about an action that began at some time in the past and has continued till the present moment in the next sentence have read is present perfect tense as it tells about a past action without specific time information in the third sentence have completed is present perfect tense since it speaks about an action that has been completed in the fourth sentence helped is past tense since present perfect i have finished my work then you can help your partner my partner too has completed his work okay i have checked these copies please distribute them in class everyone has got the copy except riya i think i have left riya's copy in the staff room please bring it from there yes ma'am in the conversation lisa and her teacher have used verbs which speaks about an action just completed or about some action which started in the past and continued till the present moment here are some examples of verbs showing present perfect tense i have finished my work My partner too has completed his work. I have checked these copies. Everyone has got the copy except Ria. I think I have left Ria's copy in the staff room. Definition. In present perfect tense, the verb speaks about an action that has just been completed. an action that began at some time in the past and has continued till the present moment and about past events where there is no specific time information let us look at a few sentences i have read this book several times farida has lived in this neighborhood for the past 15 years gauri has deposited her fees In the first sentence the verb have read is present perfect tense as it tells about a past action without specific time information and that the action has been done many times from some time in the past till now in the second sentence 
the verb has lived is again present perfect tense since it tells about an action that began at some time in the past and has continued till present time in the last sentence the verb has deposited tells us that the action has been completed just now and is present perfect tense here are few examples of sentences with verbs in present perfect tense dhruv has collected many stamps for his collection they have cleaned the room with a lot of effort i have known tara for many years present perfect continuous i have been doing shashi and meeta have been practicing for 2 hours i think we have been waiting for more than 2 hours now yes should we go home they can come later this has been happening quite often lately i guess they will continue to be late till they have their dance rehearsals you are right in the conversations the two girls have used verbs which speaks about an action which started in past and is continuing in the present moment and also about an action which began in past time and is in process during a particular time period here are some examples of verbs showing present perfect continuous tense shashi and meeta have been practicing for 2 hours I think we have been waiting for more than 2 hours now. This has been happening quite often lately. Definition In present perfect continuous tense, the verb speaks about an action that began at some time in the past and is continuing even in the present moment or about actions that began in the past and are continuing nowadays. The prepositions for and since are often used with this tense to indicate the time period involved. Let us look at a few sentences. I have been working on this article for an hour. Kavita has been visiting the orphanage every day lately. The children have been playing since 5 p.m. In the first sentence, the verb have been working is present perfect continuous tense as it tells about an action which began in the past and is still taking place. The word for gives information about the time period of the action. In the second sentence, the verb has been visiting is again present perfect continuous tense since it tells about an action that began at some time in the past and is in continuous process lately in the last sentence the verb have been playing tells us about an action that began in the past and is in progress at the present moment as well here the word since has been used to indicate the moment in the past when the action started Here are few examples of sentences with verbs in present perfect continuous tense. Parag has been living in Mumbai since 2006. She has been exercising for an have and have not. Have you done your English homework? No, I have not done it. I could not understand the chapter on articles. So I have been reading the chapter continuously since yesterday. I have tried all the questions, but I'm not sure of my answers. I have decided to ask the teacher to repeat the lesson today, as I have not understood it at all. I think most of the students have not been able to comprehend the lesson on articles. That is because they have not been paying attention in class. In the conversation, the two girls have used. have as auxiliary verb to form positive sentences in present perfect and present perfect continuous tense they have used have not to form negative sentences in present perfect and present perfect continuous tense here are some examples of sentences in present perfect tense showing use of have and have not have you done your english homework No, I have not done it. 
I could not understand the chapter on articles, though I have been reading the chapter continuously since yesterday. I have tried all the questions, but I am not sure of my answers. I have decided to ask the teacher to repeat the lesson today as I have not understood at all. I think most of the students have not been able to comprehend the lesson on articles. That is because they have not been paying attention in class. Definition Have is used as an auxiliary or helping verb with participle. To form positive sentences in present perfect tense, it is used with been and ing verb to form affirmative sentences in present perfect continuous tense. In using have not, auxiliary have is used with negative not and participle to form negative sentences in present perfect tense. Have is used with negative not been and ing verb to form negative sentences in present perfect continuous tense. Have and have not can be used with I, we, they, you or any plural subject. Let us look at a few sentences. I have been reading this book for an hour. Shanu and Suman have invited Sheena to their place. The children have not performed well in the exams. The students have not been giving their best. Past perfect continuous. I had been doing. Jati was baking cakes yesterday. I went to her house at 5 pm and she had been baking for 3 hours then. Yes, she has a party in her house today. Babita had been waiting for this party for a month and now she's not in town. I know, Rati wanted to invite Babita. Actually, she had been planning to throw this party last week, but her grandfather fell sick at the last moment. In the conversation, the two girls have used verbs which speak about an action which started in past and was in progress even when another action took place in the past. Here are some examples of verbs showing past perfect continuous tense. I went to her house at 5 p.m. and she had been baking for three hours then. Babita had been waiting for this party for a month and now she is not in town. Actually, she had been planning to throw this party last week but her grandfather fell sick at the last moment. Definition in the past perfect continuous tense, the verb speaks about an action that began at some time in the past and was continuing at that point of time in the past when another action began. It can also be used when an action in progress in the past caused something to take place. The preposition for and since are often used with this tense to indicate the time period involved. Let us look at a few sentences. Trisha had been taking acting classes since she was 16 but gave them up after marriage. Meena had been struggling to find a job for six months when Parag offered her one of his offers. Manu had been working very hard for a year and he finally got the Best Employee Award. In the first sentence, had been taking is past perfect continuous tense as it speaks about an action that began in the past and continued to be in progress when another action occurred in the past. The use of preposition since provides time information. In the second sentence, had been struggling is past perfect continuous tense since it speaks about an action that was in progress even at the time another action took place in the past. The preposition for indicates the time duration involved. In the past perfect tense. Where is Chavi? When I reached her place, she had left already. Should we wait for her? I had informed her about our plans 
even before I informed you. Then I'm sure she will be here any moment. She waited very long for us last time. Yes, I remember. She had eaten two ice creams by the time we reached. In the dialogues, the girls have used past perfect tense to talk about something that happened in the earlier past. Here are examples of sentences with verbs in past perfect tense. When I reached her place, she had left already. I had informed her about our plans even before I informed you. She had eaten two ice creams by the time we reached. Definition In the past perfect tense, the verb speaks about an action that took place in the earlier past. If two actions happened in the past, then past perfect tense is used to speak about the action that took place before the other. Let us look at a few sentences. When I reached home, my mother had prepared dinner already. The patient had collapsed by the time the doctor came. I had completed my schoolwork before the guests arrived. In the first sentence, the verb had prepared gives us information about the earlier past and so is past perfect tense. In the next sentence, the verb had collapsed is past perfect tense as it tells about a past action that happened before the other action could take place. In the third sentence, the verb had completed is again past perfect tense since it tells about an action that was done before another action happened. Here are few more examples of use of past perfect tense. Jagdish had ordered two cups of coffee by the time I reached the restaurant. When I reached the bus stop, the bus had gone. Used to do When I was in school, I used to read school on time always. But I used to get late sometimes. Nowadays, students don't bother about punctuality at all. Remember? How we used to be scolded by our teacher on being late? Yes, I recall. I got late only once during my school days and the teacher didn't let me enter the class. I know. You neither used to bunk classes nor reach school late as a rule. I wish our students would inculcate this habit. In the conversation, Latika and Kailash have used used to to speak about a past routine or habit which is not observed anymore. Here are some examples of the use of used to. When I was in school, I used to reach school on time always. But I used to get late sometimes. Remember how we used to be scolded by our teachers on being late? You neither used to bunk classes nor read school late as a rule. Definition Used to expresses an old discontinued habit or an action that took place regularly in past but does not take place any longer now. Let us look at a few sentences. Daniel used to play basketball in college but he has given up the sport now. We used to go boating together in summer vacations, but now we hardly meet. My mother used to wake me up early in the morning when I was in school. In the first sentence, used to tells about an action regularly done in the past but no longer done now. In the second sentence, used to tells about a past activity that took place regularly but does not take place anymore. In the last sentence, used to tells about a past habit now discontinued. Here are a few examples of sentences using used to. Karim used to go for jogging every day before he fell ill. Anne used to invite everyone for dinner every Friday when she lived here. I used to smoke a lot when I was in college. When and how long, since and for. How long have you been waiting here? 
आई हैव बिन वेटिंग फॉर टू आवर्स सॉरी आई एम लेट वॉट डी लेट यू इट हैज बिन रेनिंग हैवली टूडे सिंस वेन हैज इट बीन रेनिंग इट हैज बिन रेनिंग सिंस टू थर्टी पी एम हाउ लॉन्ग हैज इट रेन्ड इट हैज रेन्ड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट टू आवर्स In the dialogues the boys have asked questions using when and how long in present perfect continuous and present perfect tense since and for have been used in answers to questions with when and how long respectively here are some examples of sentences showing use of when how long for and since How long have you been waiting here? I have been waiting for 2 hours. Since when has it been raining? It has been raining since 2:30 p.m. How long has it rained? It has rained for almost 2 hours. Definition. For indicates time duration and is used in answer to questions that ask how long in present and past perfect tenses and also their continuous forms since indicates the beginning of a time period and is used in present and past perfect tenses and also their continuous forms to answer when something started let us look at a few sentences how long have you worked here I have worked here for 4 years. Since when has this movie been running? This movie has been running since the beginning of the month. In the first sentence, how long has been used to ask a question in present perfect tense to inquire about the length of a time period. In the next sentence, for has been used in a present perfect tense to show a time duration in the third sentence when has been used to ask a question in present perfect continuous tense regarding the time at which something started in the last sentence since has been used in a present perfect continuous tense to indicate the beginning of a time period here are few more examples of sentences with when how long since and for Since when have you been teaching in this school? I have been teaching in this school since last year. How long have they studied mathematics? They have studied mathematics for 3